feel very much using a laser pointer right now. Oh, great. And then I'm gonna find out that the laser pointer was never actually a tangible object in the first place. Oh, there's a cat. Maybe I could get a laser pointer and have him chase it. Hi. Meow. You're really not a fan of cats, are you? You don't want to, like, pet them at all. Pity the fool who doesn't enjoy petting a cat. Not that it's bad or anything, but I was just wondering, how did everybody get talking about Pokemon? Did something happen Pokemon related? Oh, it's that thing again. Stop flying away, you stupid thing! Get it! Oh my god, get it! This is the stupidest- oh, fucking hell. Forget it. So clearly I'm supposed to go over there somewhere. Oh, what's that? A big shiny thing hanging in the air. Can I climb up this death cage? Um, how do I get up to that? No, stay up there. Oh, I guess I could just like go through the water, right? Imagine if this was still Assassin's Creed 1 where the water killed you and then it was also a pirate game at the same time. That would be hilarious. Like, you may never touch water. Actually, it looks sufficiently damp. His clothes have definitely gotten wet. Oh, wow. Good good job climbing those stairs, bro. Can you, can you brick up that? No, I guess not. Where do we go to get up? You can just, like, go in, I guess. See what's in here. Hello. Pardon me. Can't find me. I'm stealthy. I don't even have my cardboard box. Uh, I think I need to get up here. Somewhere over here. Oh, it said reach. Oh, that door. I've reached it. Open door. No. I was opening the door. I was opening the door. Go away. This is why you need to just let me open this door. Oh my god, just let me open it. You don't understand how important this is. What? I don't even know what just happened there. Oh, pressing so many buttons so quickly. Alright. Now may I open the door? Become anonymous. Oh, you think I have my Guy Fox Max? Come on. You should play Ground Zeroes on stream eventually. I'm not sure I know what that is. Oh, is there an eagle point over here? I feel like there should be. Dunsparce? Is the best Pokemon? You know the best Pokemon is actually... Uh, Nose Pass. Hi, Josh. Welcome. Welcome to Rock Lee Town. Uh, oh, there's an eagle over here. Alright, let's go get this eagle, and then we'll head down, and I think there's some ship stuff we're supposed to do. Excuse me, I killed all your brothers, nobody minds. Oh, can I climb up this flagpole and put an American flag at the top? Because that would be really cool. Oh, no, you're not a flagpole guy? Alright, never mind. I guess we'll just murder this dude instead. And let's murder these guys as well, because, well, they're here. Yeah, and these guys also. And him. I don't really need a lot of reasons. To, uh, to murder people because, I don't know, pirates or something. doop a doop doop a doop doop a doop a doop All I pressed, by the way, was uh, X for that whole combat exchange. D 
eagle, 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 eagle. About 50% of the time when I get up to these eagle spots, he just automatically jumps off, so... Okay, good, We're, we made this one. Are they even eagles, or are they just hawks? They're probably hawks, right? Five out of eight synchronizations in Havana. That seems pretty good, right? Oh, what's this little pyramid over here? Is this a thing? Animus fragments. Okay, so there's like uh, crosses that we got to climb up. Uh, viewpoint. Okay, I can fast travel to that one. So I guess they stay present on the map once you've discovered them. Totally cool by me. Again, still pretty impressed with the size of this map. It is uh, pretty gloriously large. So whether or not you're super impressed by the combat or the concept... I still gotta give them credit. It's pretty impressive how big of a, an area they've made. And if you're in, someone who might enjoy the fast uh, parkour elements of the traversal in this game, I can imagine that being pretty exciting. Alright, how do I get down? <laughs> in case we'll just fall. Yeah, falling is fine. You get your health back anyway, right? Um, okay, that guy's got a rifle. I'm just gonna kill this guy because I don't know why. Yep, can I- oh, I can't grab him? You know, the dude was pointing a gun at me, and then you're gonna take two and a half hours to decide to impale him with your swords there. Kick him off. Don't you have a- yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Okay, I've learned this from It's Always Sunny. If you zigzag, they won't be able to hit you, right? And once they shoot once, it takes them, like, an hour to be able to shoot again. No, I, I totally hit B to counter that. Um, okay, let's actually just do the objective then. So where are we going now? We go downtown and visit our destination outside of this little fortress. So find the easiest way to get out of here. Probably jump right in the water, I would imagine. Pretty gratifying, I guess. I would like a wider shot, though, so we could, like, see the distance or something would be nice. Um, let's just continue on. Screw these guys that are trying to shoot at me. Oh, they can hit me from there. A little surprised by that. Okay, and there's that cross that I was trying to reach before. I think what I'm supposed to do is actually climb up this. And then I can go to this next plank over here, this next log, and then up here, and then up the wall, maybe. Wait, where'd it go? Up on top of one of these things, right? I just totally lost it. Oh, who cares? Oh, it's right there. It's just hanging in the air. That's why I didn't see it. Still, maintaining the who cares. It's okay, he acknowledged Josh already. <laughs> it's J. Smith OTI, man. It's all this who's this Josh character. He's got his own town, it's called J. Smith Town, you should visit it. It's a good time. You do wild things over there, like put on a horse head sometimes. It's crazy, but it's great. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, see? There's the horse head. Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, was I accomplishing a deed throughout all that? Oh, it's no great loss. All right. Well, uh, I thought it was just assassinating people. It's just how I do. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados to the TDM. And I've put down my controller on my desk, so inevitably this is when it will vibrate for some reason. Live life as you see fit. Haven't I heard that NASA is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Take me down to the J. Smith oh, city where the grass is green and the girls adventure. are scummy. <laughs> but no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure. I don't think they're scummy, Duncan. actually, though. Slight misdiagnosis hey, there, I'm but I hear you. Thematically, it makes sense that they My would be. Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. How do you feel about your dude being the most agile pirate ever? Hmm. I like to pretend he's a ninja, which makes me not have as big of a problem with it. 
Oh, see, I did that. I hired dancers to distract guards, so I'm 90% synchronized. Um, I don't really... I don't know that it matters, because I kind of feel like Assassin's Creed is just one of those games that's like, let's have it here, let's have it there, let's have it there. It's sort of like... I don't know, I almost wanted to say like a Doctor Who special where they visit a different planet so they have like a flavor of the month. So the fact that they're super crazy dexterous and jumpy and agile just sort of makes me feel like, well, that's just the theme of this game. So if you didn't have the free-running component, it wouldn't be Assassin's Creed, so we sort of have to compartmentalize the traversal mechanics from the actual character and just kind of pretend that they're existing in parallel and it just makes sense. There's a lot of suspension of disbelief that goes on with this game, in my opinion. So that's just kind of my take on it anyway. I definitely... If I tried to take this game seriously, which I don't know, do people do that? If I tried to do that, I would be uh, very frustrated, I think, a lot of the time. It's very, very, like, fiction-y, like, science fiction-y and just fiction-y in general. Spoiler, next AC will be in space. Um, I just hope they do one in Feudal Japan after that. We're good. Oh, can I go in this door? It's shiny. Oh, wow, okay, so I can go through shiny doors to, uh, be in the dark for a second in case I want to have, like, a moment with myself. Fondle the sack or something. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next point on our map, which is down here. Oh, there's another eagle for me to get over here, isn't there? Alright, let's go get another eagle, and then we'll go do another point. I love how he does not care at all about falling that far. And uh, basically getting to a position on the map is as simple as just holding your control stick in any direction and then hitting A a bunch of times. And if you run into a wall too much, just like slightly move the control stick a little bit. Oh look, I'm in a well now. Why? I don't want to be in there. What's at the bottom? Can I fall in? If I fall in, can I get back out? I would be surprised if they didn't put some kind of handholds on the inside of the wall. It doesn't look like they did actually, so maybe uh, they just kill you if you fall in there. Do you think the NLSS might be... <laughs> it might just be one guy who's really good at voices. Um, yeah, it's probably Alpaca Patrol. I hear he's pretty good at voices. He also has, like, three forms for his body, too, because we've actually all been on, like, camera together and, like, had pictures together, so... Uh, he's a shape-shifting man. He's a pretty wild guy to a new degree that I don't even think people could do. But I'm willing to entertain the, the concept if you are. Hi, kitty. They have so many different types of cats. I've seen a white cat, a black cat, and now a stripy cat. Hello. Really almost hit, hit Y there when I just wanted to pet him. And by pet, I mean let him walk through my leg. Plus he's part alpaca, right? So he's got that going as well. <laughs> One alpaca, three human bodies. I've even seen him have his own, like, being uh, representative of him, which was a slightly different body entirely. So I would go far so far as to say four human bodies and an alpaca body on top of it. Plus he's good at voices. I don't know, he's like the quadruple threat. Oh, I guess I can't grab that. Okay, now I know. Uh, didn't want to go in the hay. Is there a way up this? That looks too high. This is the part where I just run into all the walls until I find one that I can climb up for some reason. There's usually, well, there's usually visual feedback. I just mean until I find the one spot where I'm supposed to be. Oh, I guess I could go through here. No, I guess they don't want me going through here. Well, like I've ever cared or respected about authority, right? Or respected authority. Um, okay, let's keep going up. Pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. There's an eagle point up there somewhere, and there's some booty over on the left. You love me some booty. Arr. Eagle! No! I smoked again! I didn't want to smoke, I wanted an eagle. He also needs to turn the music up. Are we just doing the meme then? 
And I'm pretty sure everybody said that the music was just fine before. Uh, I'm just gonna kill you, because you're in the way. Oh, that didn't work? Alright, fair enough. Uh, break defense. A. Press A. Cut. Yeah. And, oh, we've got a pyramid over here somewhere, right? I just saw it a second ago. Where is it? I like a good pyramid. Where is it? Where is the pyramid? It's like right behind me, isn't it? Is it on top of this little thing? No? Looks like it's under me now. Is it on the other side of this? Where's the pyramid at? Oh, it's right there! That's why I couldn't find it. Alright, how do I hang down? No, not that kind of drop, you dingus! Oh my god, you're the worst! <laughs> Like a good pyramid Facebook is there. I guess we're going for the like a good neighbor joke there. Alright, so there's another pyramid over there. We don't really care. Uh, so we want to go to the next mission point. Mr. Walpole, I presume. Well, I guess I will go get the pyramid since I gotta go in that direction anyway, right? Pardon me. Not sure why I killed you, but you were in my way, kind of, slightly. Not really, actually, I just kind of went after you. Um. Alright, enemy, enemy... Where is friend? Out oh, there. Did you say Marco? I would totally say Polo if that was an option. What's in here? Is there a birdie? Oh, hello, Mr. Pirate. Pirates are wild. Uh, okay, roll. Yeah, it's very important to roll. I feel like I'm on the wrong side of this gate right now. Don't feel too good about that. Is there a way out? Oh, I guess over here. I can't believe how many of these guys are like my enemies. Okay, I didn't really tell you to jump off of there, but if you really wanted to. Maybe there's just, like, a lot of input lag, and because I hit the button so frantically to jump up things, it's, like, saving some of my A presses for way later, and then it decides to, like, use them when it sees fit. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Remember when I killed, like, ten of your dudes Please, inside of the area that you live in, world. in there? Yeah, it was pretty wild, right? I enjoyed it a whole bunch. Thank you for letting me in. Should I kill you now or later? I guess later. Oh, you, you guys all want to be killed too, huh? All, all four of you. Alright, I'll make note. I'll mark and execute for you. Can I run? Oh, I can walk slightly hurriedly. You guys as well? Alright, marked. He's a rough looking man. Man's been at sea for months, be easy on. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at these, these floating DNA strands here. This looks like a thing that we should be a part of. Oh, thank you, Giraffe Kicker. That's awfully nice. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Oh, what happened to your indeed. face? I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. You know you're just a memory, right? Like you could totally not have that scar if you wanted. Or you could, like, rearrange it so it looks My more wife. like a palm tree or, like, some boobs, you if you want. Your call. All. I mean, you're a memory. Uh, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got shiny hair. I'm gonna stab Duncan you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who is this motherfucker? Julian Ducasse. Look at him. Is he a Ronin in disguise? Ronins in disguise. So you could do straight out of Desperado mixed with some kind of Pirates of the Caribbean character. I have not come to disappoint. Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? So hopefully a brute thing. It's 
Jonah Hex. You've got my so now I get pairs guns, pistols, then. Duncan, so handle them with I don't really want guns that much. Eight, I treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a All right, for it. let's uh, get our guns up. Bam! Bam! Bam. Press Y to shoot the highlighted target with your pistol. Press Y? <laughs> oh, from no draw. Okay. Uh, what? That's gotta be so annoying reloading those every time. <laughs> Like in the middle of combat is the least opportune moment for you to have to do that. All right, talk to the hosts. Oh, look at them—they just moved. That's silly. All right. Here's a challenge. I should have an open-world trigun game. I 100% agree with you. I would play as Wolfwood. Remember, a badass. Hit every target within the allotted time. I don't wanna. Okay. Would have helped if I started by reloading before this. Okay, another one. Didn't I shoot like three or four times before without reloading? I'm pretty sure this is not possible. Um, how do I... I totally missed what he said before about that. Throw money. I like that that's an option. Oh, look at this. I can just smack my hands together. Oh, I'm an angry man. Angry man. Angry man. Angry man. Alright, how do I just reload straight away? Shoot the dude with the hat. Okay. Nah, he's fine. Doesn't seem too interested in being shot. Left B, okay. LB, I can do that. Oh, what's right bumper do? Viewpoints, assassin contracts, chests, strong. Alright, cool enough. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Alright, here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I know, you just said that, like, just now. Okay, two, three. This is, like, way easier without having to reload every single time. And then we have enough time for two more individual shots with time to spare. I'll just shoot him in the arm, because why not? And one more shot, if he could hurry up. Oh, there we go. That didn't hit. Freaking kidding me. That didn't hit. Alright, let's do that again. Hey, Only Kanga, how's it going? You forgot about Kai? All right. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got Try something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. Empties. Everybody act like they forgot about Kai. Remember, hit every target. Please spare me. Can't get an angle from here. Oh my god. You're garbage. Okay, let's do it again. Alright. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target. You ever played the game sequence, the music slash RPG? Uh maybe? Remember, hit every target. Play a lot of games sometimes I forget titles of things. I think I'm thinking of a ranger. Oh, get out of the way, you dingus. Okay, I need to get shots on these two now. Three, two, one. I hate you. Oh my god. That's all I can do. I can just angrily thrust my swords at the ground. I just want to stab his heart out. That's not an option.
Does Nick even have enough ammo to do this? Yeah, apparently they give you infinite for this challenge for some reason. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. I want to do this. Remember, hit every Yeah, I want to do more secret to mana eventually. I don't know why it's taking me so long to have done such a thing. I'll just stand exactly in front of you firing. It's fine. Oh my god, thank goodness. Get 350 uh, R's for that, apparently. Oh, that's good. Who wants to talk now? Anybody? Continue. Hey, please stream yourself well, angrily this. thrusting your swords for a few minutes. Seen Maybe. An assassin so illiquid. Ah. Damage sadly beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. Is a souvenir. <laughs> I don't even believe that that guy's an assassin. Like, he just doesn't look like one. Two blades, as is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration <laughs> Why? Techniques. You don't believe well, me either? We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situation is well suited to your skills. So we're still kind of tutorializing, even though we've already had a bunch of simplest. things. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Wow. Those skills. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Uh, where are the bales of hay? There's some hay over here. Those are not the ones they're talking about, though. Oh, over here. Oh, see you later. Wait, who's leaving? Giraffe kicker? Are you leaving? Oh, Kanga's leaving. Oh, good night. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Blind you. Move between two civilians and blend with them, okay. Now blending, as far as I'm aware, is when you uh, put your hands in your sleeves and lower your head slightly. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Okay. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect oh, time to go. behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados, <laughs> anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Does it ever become night in this she's game? Well, but I wouldn't know. I feel like it's been, been day Madagascar forever. Some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next time. Please go in a straight there line to the place that you'd like indeed. to go. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres, Mr. Duncan Walpole, has arrived. It's 
see. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Good morning. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. I wonder what that thing was that he gave him. It was like some kind of little holographic storage cube or something. <laughs> By the father of the random capitals light. and the subtitles are killing me. <laughs> That's that totally fair. Um, by the father of under... Maybe they're... Were those titles? Decades ago, oh, I can steal. What can I steal? Task of locating in these West Indies. I'm stealing right now. Place, I totally just pickpocketed that dude. See here. <laughs> can I pickpocket this dude too? And commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory. A place rumored to contain a tool of incredible right, These guys are awfully trusting. Power. It houses a kind of armillary yeah, sphere, I'm if you like. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Is there anyone else I can pickpocket over here? To locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine oh, what about this guy? To have such a power. Do you want to be pickpocketed? This device, there would be no secrets. It's quite the armor you're wearing no there, lies, sir. No trickery. Like some sort of strange combination of uh, Skyrim character, Shredder, Sub Zero, and Mayan. I don't know what the hell that is. We will soon, for in our custody is that hey man, listen. I know you don't really want to wear this armor. Uh, you want to just lend it to me? I like wearing weird armor. Also, assassinating people. You look just really tired. His eyes are rolling back in his head. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. <laughs> Wait till they find out I took all their money. Thanks to Duncan They're gonna be pissed. He has delivered. Oh, thank goodness you got the little cube thing. Much longer. I used to have a little ball maze like that that oh, looked just like that. It had tomorrow, uh, two sections to it and a bunch of balls inside of it. And you'd have to get them through the appropriately sized Until holes then, uh, to get to the other side so they match the right colors. It was a uh, pretty silly little game. Maybe that's together. what he brought across the seas. I mean, With they were really power, into spices back then, so maybe fall. like a little ball Clergy maze cower, uh, was the just the thing that the, the doctor cowers. ordered. I don't know. He just sensually snipped that man. <laughs> hey, I pickpocketed all the Templars. Look at me, I'm good. Rate this memory. Hey guys, you want to rate this memory with me? What would you give this? If you were informed gamer, would you use 6.9 stars out of 10? Nah, I don't really want to do it either, sorry. That's really weird that you can rate a memory. Like, tell us how we did on this section of this game. So we can uh, summarily ignore your cries for help. I want to follow the Shredder Man around more and see what he's up to. He's clearly got important business with armor like that. <laughs> this is a really silly set of armor. I can't get over it. Negative two out of ten. No smell slider. Shitty memory. <laughs> Wood drink <laughs> in excess to forget. <laughs> that should be zero on the slider.
Alright, so now we gotta go back up here for the next one. Main mission, a man they call the Sage. Or maybe the Sage. I don't know. Could be either one. Excuse me, I see you're carrying something. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you get away with that. What are you looking at? The lady's like sassily looking at the wall. Posing like she's in a fashion magazine photo shoot? What is this about? Are you dancing? Is this interpretive dance corner right now? In, uh, in Tortuga? I'm just, I'm interested in, in these poses that they're making. They're extremely exotic. Did she just throw up in her mouth? What is going on over here? She's telling a very expressive story. That woman seems to be pointing at some sort of a, a design on the wall. Maybe she's reading... Maybe she's reading the plaster for her future. And the other woman's trying to talk her out of it, but she can't. She just doesn't want her to do it. She says, no more, no more of this madness. And then she throws up in her mouth. It's a very strange time we live in, folks. Everyone's gone mad. Must be the fever. I think they're just Italian. <laughs> they're playing charades. You know what hasn't been done in a while? Exiting the Animus. I'm never exiting the Animus, if I can help it. I love how I just, like, break away sprint. Just because I feel like it. And I just knock over a bunch of people. I can hire pirates as bodyguards. Aren't What are you doing, man? What the hell was that mounting that he was just doing on that surface? Oh. We got singing. Is that actual singing, or is that soundtrack singing? I can never tell anymore. Everything's so stereo-positional 3D for cinematic effect. Oh, oh, no, get out of there, man. What are you doing? Don't be a freaking dingleberry and just get out of all the bushes all the time. You ever even take these assassin clothes off? Stop falling in wells now. What the hell is your problem, man? There should be a co-op style charade simulator. I hear there is some sort of like a spy party like multiplayer to this. And we're probably going to be playing some of it pretty soon. Uh, not tonight I mean, but like, soonish. Oh, are you a dog? Hello. Hello, Dodge. I kind of look like a Shiba Inu a little bit from slight distance. Aww. He's cute. I like him. I want to give him a treat. Alright, let's talk to the man they call Sage. <laughs> the man they call Sagi. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! Look at this eclectic cast of characters we've I already built up in the first few minutes. Sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. Yeah, why is Ku capitalized, you by the Edward. way? You're right, that is dumb. That's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I want a co-op version of everything. Yeah, I mean, really, the uh, climbing simulation oh, in Assassin's Creed could also be co-op-like. We'll catch up on it. They could make an endless Later. climbing wall, and you play as an assassin, and you just have to keep Very moving your fingers work. around to keep reaching new handholds. Co-op of duty. A man, both Templars and assassins. Co-op version of the NLSS is, is needed. Rock co-op smile. Wouldn't it be Roberts. like co smile? Is this Wouldn't sir? that be easier to say? Recognize this, I think. Oh, look, it's a shinobi man. Tales, what the hell's the going on? Required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Sometimes I feel like this Perhaps game is Mr. like Robert National Treasure, where Nicolas Cage is just making up shit as he goes along, or the Tom Hanks version of National Treasure, where they do the same thing but with art. The Nicolas Cage one was great, though, because it was, not only was it Nicolas Cage, but they'd, like, go to these historic man. landmarks and then the take them apart. Really and no one would be there, no one would care. And he'd have his weird posse, and then there'd be, like, the Templars chasing them or something, and they would end up in some tomb. I don't know, there's a lot of, like, move the brick, and then the, the entire secret is uncovered. It was so mysterious and wonderful. And he's the only man in the country that's ever thought to read a certain book. It's pretty silly. This game needs Nick Cage. I, I was not, no. Too many 
I can't walk at the same speed as them without crashing into them, and I can't run, otherwise I'm too fast. All of my walk speeds are too fast for this posse. You guys need to speed it up a little bit. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. I don't like this route either, Torres. Can we please... Can we please just teleport at this point? I think you underestimate Nick Cage's skills. Does he have a very particular set of skills for national treasures like these? Oh, what do I have to do? Defend the Templars. Shinobi Man's got this. Oh, I have to kill other assassins, I guess. But I'm not a real assassin. Okay, it's all good. They can take a pretty good stabbing, I guess, because they dish them out so often. They're pretty used to how, like, getting stabbed under the chin feels. Which makes them more capable. Thank you for that camera angle, by the way. That was really nice. Uh, being able to see that pillar in such high fidelity was an important thing that I was just thinking about right at that moment, so... Kinda read my mind there. It's like mini animus. Counters. Who needs counters? I pressed nothing but X that whole time. Watch the they be Excuse me, I kinda overshot... Oh, twice? I kinda overshot that man twice. I can't... Stab? Stab everything. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Slice, and then stab. It's very simple. When do I get more hit points, by the way? Can we get more hit points soon? Stab. Cut. No. Much quap. He was in face-off. Yeah, yeah, no more drugs for this man. He was also in, uh... The Wicker Man. One of the greatest movies of our generation. I'm sorry, the greatest movie of our generation. I didn't mean to just totally defame the Wicker Man like that. That was kind of rude of me. Excuse me. It'd be hilarious if one of these assassins was just like one of the dudes from the other game. And we just like killed it. Oh god. Sword right through the freaking throat. Uh, who's left? Oh, two more. You guys are, like, really incompetent. What the fuck just happened to that dude's ragdoll? Did you see that? Look at his leg up in the lemon tree. Oh, I pressed B one time. I pressed A now, too. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be him. Look at that leg positioning. Oh, there's another one. Holy shit, I thought I finished them off. Nick, have you ever seen Donnie Darko? Seems like your kind of movie. I have indeed. I've actually watched... Oh. Okay, I didn't know I was protecting people. I guess I did actually know I said defend them. Uh, yeah, I've watched that movie a number of times, actually, when I was much younger. Uh, like when the butterfly effect and memento were popular. I think I watched that probably two or three times. It's pretty good. I liked it. I haven't watched it in years, though. I wonder if it would hold up over time. Man, I really wanted to play with that guy's ragdoll some more. I was so busy killing dudes, like, how could I have been defending any harder than I already was, I wonder. And also, why are these assassins so accommodating? Uh, when... I mean, I know how these guys react, right? Like, being an assassin, everybody around me just stands in a circle and waits for me to finish fighting whoever I'm fighting. So since they've been trained as a proper assassin, they should know that the only thing they shouldn't do is exactly that. Okay, wait, did I win this thing? Oh no, there's more. They just keep coming. Reflex shot. Oh, I didn't know I could reflex shot. I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. Shoot. Slice. Dice. Linguini. Bikini. Linguini. I don't know. Is there more? Still more. This is how Call of Duty became absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, just leave me alone. You know, war is a war, but, like, there's never a situation where there are just infinite men in a small enclosed space. And not that this is a small or enclosed space, but it just seems to me that, uh, we've probably killed enough assassins now. I mean, I'm not sure why we're still going. Alright, continue to defend. Hey, I win. Oh, no, I guess there was no point in me just doing what I just did then. Cool. Always love when that happens in games. Oh god, that is violent. Alright. Did anyone just live through that? What just happened there? Catch him. Okay, let's ta tackle the sage from above. How would I do that? 
I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunities for me to be above this guy. He's going to be running away the whole time. Oh, I guess just straight up just tackle him. It doesn't have to really be above. So here we go again with the same thing that we were doing from the very first us, moment, mate. which is chase after a dude through the landscape. Leap of faith. I don't have any faith that I could leap on anyone right now. I don't actually know where the hell I am. I should have marked the dude. Assassin's Creed 5, infinite men in a small enclosed space. <laughs> oh, it was an optional objective. I probably should have read that more carefully. Can I vault off this pig? That would be kind of funny. How did he get up there that fast, by the way? Oh, I'm supposed to probably cut that rope to get a big advantage, right? And then I can ride the rope up, like in uh, all the pirate movies. It's like that, uh, the one card from Cards Against Humanity, where it's like riding the chandelier rope up to dispatch your foes or whatever it says. Alright, so there he goes down there. I'm supposed to jump off of here and land on his head, I think. Yeah, that was a leap of faith, alright. Didn't quite Stop, leap, leap out to you. work. Work out. Work out. Okay, follow him here. Have they made a realistic Aladdin simulator yet? Because that's kind of what this feels like at times. Get to be the street rat. I guess the first Assassin's Creed is as close as we're going to get to that. Or Damascus and all that, right? I really like that architecture. I found it to be uh, a really cool focal point to the game, being able to uh, wander around in that kind of a thing. And the fact that they went to Italy also in the second one was pretty damn cool, because, you know, I've read a lot about Italy and my um, art history books and such, so it was really neat to be able to see some of those uh, particularly large pieces that were uh, very involved in the time period. Can we please wrap this up? I don't see how I'm supposed to get any faster. Oh my god, stop climbing! Fuck it. Alright, let's try that again. You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Oh, he already did that move. That's why he got up there so fast. No, don't go in it! There's so many things that are supposed to make your life as an assassin easier, but in reality, since the controller gets away from you so frequently, it just ends up costing you time when you're trying to run. Seriously, what kind of advantages can I pull out of this situation? I can't really cross this space faster than this. Where is he even going? I don't even know. Go here. Go up. Catch him, please. Now, if I run long enough and far enough, will he eventually just, like, do something dumb? Like, admitting that I chased him far enough for him to lose? That would be a very gamey way to do that. Um, I don't even know where he is anymore. I'm just running in his general direction like we're freaking playing Grand Theft Auto with the GPS. Oh, that worked. Just completely avoid the rooftops. I guess I could shoot him, right? Can I shoot him? That didn't do anything. Oh. Now I gotta beat him up. Break defense. A. No, don't jump like a crazy person. What are you doing? Don't box that woman. Freaking wild card, man. You know that? Yeah, that's how you do it. Well done, lock dog. Quiet. We'll see him Hello, SJ Heiss. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, Chen. I'll be buggered. See, set on Actually, our sides by our enemies, we must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. Speed and fortune. I return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Wow. How? My bad. Consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. 
I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Being buggered exclusively means being fucked up the ass? I just thought it meant just getting laid. <laughs> All right, I got a thousand R's. R, R, R. Imagine if it made an R sound for every single R I get. Why do they all wiggle around? I guess when you just get near them, it's like, oh, you're messing with memories or something. Maybe you push them too far out of the way. They can only exist in this one plane of existence in this one space at this one time. That dude needs to get more rest, man. His look at his bags under his eyes. Did you see that? a zombie. How come they haven't done the zombie outbreak yet? That's the most obvious thing possible, right? So I assume I'm probably gonna get a ship pretty soon. We're probably gonna, like, kill all those dudes that I just met and got money from. Chasing me? I thought I just heard the little ping go off. Oh, there's like a dude over there. What's he doing? You wanna fight? I have way more R's than you, so I'm taking you down. Yeah, you're going off. Whoa! What the fuck? What is he just went He went over there. I kicked him across the gap and he ragdolled all over. That was pretty dumb. Alright. Did his legs do something weird too? It looked like it got stretched out for a second. Maybe not. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> I have no idea what created that situation with the ragdoll. I, I just basically kicked him to the point where he, like, flipped out and his body rubberized, and then it, like, spring-loaded itself and shot across the gap up in the air, so... It's pretty funny. Um... Where are we at now? I guess... I don't know. Do you guys want to watch any more of this? It seems like everybody's kind of leaving. Oh, we have 69 viewers right now. Uh, what time is it? I haven't looked at the clock. Oh, it's 3 o'clock. Eh, whatever. I was kind of planning on just streaming for a really long time. Um, I don't know. If I do Secret of Mana, though, then I would have to grind a little bit, because I never did that at the last end of where we left off. I don't know, maybe I'll just, like, go eat some yogurt and watch The Daily Show, and then go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an anticlimactic way to close things out. Look at this freaking world, right? Like, the size of this, and then that, is just wild to me. What happens at the bottom of this part of the map? So you can see the edge here. And then this is just a bay, right? And then on the other side, there's more land. It doesn't really match up, though, does it? There's like a... Okay, there's like a pointy part of this. But then there's nothing. Am I not understanding this landscape correctly, or is this just totally strange and changed from one point to the next? It doesn't even look like it's close to matching the shape of it. Alright, so this comes down and around here, and then it gets into a crook, right? But then I can't see the crook here to compare. Maybe this is it? I don't know. Whatever. Um, barely paying attention to the game. Have you played Mother 3? I don't remember the which one is which, but I played Earthbound on the SNES, and that's the only one I spent any significant amount of time with. Uh, and there's like an issue with trying to uh, emulate that game for some reason. There's, uh, I guess, a weird ROM of it or something that I think is like the only one available. Oh, Mother 3 is the GBA one. You should stream, live stream yourself eating the yogurt. It's a weird thing to want to do, I guess. Mother 3 is like Earthbound, but better. Only released in Japan, so you need an emulator and stuff. Oh, okay. 
Meh, I guess we'll just we'll wrap up for the night. It seems like everybody just wants to go to bed anyway, and the viewers are just dropping, so... I don't think it's going to change much if I decide to play a different game. Not to say that I might not just come back and do more stuff tomorrow. The other game I wanted to potentially play was Rage a little bit, since I went and downloaded the, like, 28 gig file for it or whatever it was. Uh, if TB and Jesse livestream Terraria, I would sit in that chat forever. I thought TB and Jesse didn't even like playing Terraria. <laughs> they just did it because it was something people wanted to watch. Uh, what do I know? Cookie Clicker will bring in more <laughs> views. No, it's fine. It's not all about the views. It's just like, I think everybody's just kind of getting tired anyway. It's only 9.20. I stream you eating yogurt and watching The Daily Show. Definitely can't... Is it? Is it actually 28 gigabytes? It's 20-something, but I didn't remember what the other digit there was. Pretty sure I can't stream The Daily Show, though. That would be a thing. They are hilarious in it. Yeah. They're both pretty damn hilarious as it is. It's almost 420. Oh, boy. Maybe I should watch some Doctor Who, since, uh, that whole thing is going on right now. Also, let's look at the ground texture here on the- well, the, the roof texture, I mean. It certainly looks better than the ones in Call of Duty, which look blurry as goddamn hell. But, I don't know, still... Yeah, I guess it's sharp enough. I think there's this one little bit here missing. I think there's, like, a wood texture under it, though, which I'm not sure if that is right. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, there's another cat here. What are you doing up here, man? Hi, kitty. Hello. Aww. It's funny how they're all the exact same mesh with the same animations, too. One thing I always found really amazing about Assassin's Creed, and this is such a little thing, but, like, the fact that their feet actually move to this, the direction of whatever it is that they're supposed to be standing on. It's not always 100% perfect, but it's definitely gotten better. Like, the angle, the ankle, and the knee, and, like, when the dude walks up into a... Wow, he almost tried to step up onto that. Oh, he actually does. Whatever you call this thing. But then the hands will actually, like, reach out and touch a wall. I always thought that was, like, such an obvious thing that we should have had years ago. Uh, when it pertains to character traversal, and I'm just, I'm glad to see that people have finally started to get the picture with that. Because it's so unnatural when you're playing a game and you just walk into a surface and just keep pressing into it, like, with your head and face. That's just not how people interact with things. Not to say that this is necessarily the most natural either, but it certainly seems to be a step in the right direction. And a pretty important step, especially if you're going to be doing uh, largely emphasized freeform running over very varied terrain. Although sometimes I think they definitely cater the terrain a little bit more than they should to the character. You know, the specifically laid out tree branches and stuff, I've found that always to be a bit gimmicky. Chimney, yeah, that's a chimney. Right. Did you watch Avatar The Last Airbender? I watched all of the anime of it, and I still haven't watched uh, Legend of Korra. But I have not watched the movie because I heard it was garbage. I was gonna watch it, like, because it was a joke, if anything. But I don't know which thing you're talking about there. Oh, you know what I should do? I should just, like, try and leave the area and see if I'm allowed to. Uh, man. I mean to do that. You should watch the movie. It was amazing. The movie meaning, like, the full motion, like, real actor movie, not like the... If there was an animated one, I don't even know. I haven't watched it in ages, though. I kind of forgot a lot of stuff about it, actually. It was hilarious after I made all those videos, or the, the video, rather. I only made a couple, but I only uploaded one. Uh, about the cabbage stuff, and then everybody's linking me the, uh, the cabbage vendor. Oh, just free money there. Okay. The, uh, the cabbage vendor from Avatar was like, My cabbages! And everybody kept beating up his cabbages and knocking them out into the air. 
I kind of forgot that it was that big of a trend series that it kept coming up that often. Oh, am I walled in in the entire city? I guess that kind of makes sense. They would want protection. Uh, oh, well, there go the pirates. Too late. Do I like pirates? I guess I like pirates. I thought it was kind of like in the middle, right? You might want to stay out of this lady. This is not a good place for you to be. Is she helping? What are they doing? I didn't actually realize you could change your weapons on the fly. I kind of thought once you picked one, you were in it until combat ended. fight to regenerate health. Wish that stopped being a thing. Please just leave me alone. Okay, we're running away now. All I was looking for was a way out of the city, and all I found was misery and anguish. There's really a perfectly flush wall around this entire city with not a single handhold. As a man who can climb some very varied and strange surfaces, I'm a little surprised. I mean, even just, like, find a damn ladder or something. Yeah, I guess I'll save you. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. I'm gonna shoot these guys, I guess. Oh, look, more! These are just missions if you just want to, like, hit X a lot, I guess. Some people just, you know, want to hit X. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hardy. Oh, I made him happy, and now maybe he'll be my friend. He gave me, uh, 100 R's. I guess it's kind of like Catholic Hail Marys or something, like pirates exchange each other's R's. Oh, look, there's plant life all over this wall, yet still can't climb it. Stream watch doges. Uh, I don't think you would want me to do that, to be honest. It's a pretty annoying sound after a little while. But it did cross my mind, don't get me wrong. Oh, look, a tree. No, oh, can't climb trees. The one thing in this world, in this universe, that real people would have potentially climbed, you know, to get coconuts, uh, and this dude won't do it. Oh, look, a dodge. Oh, is this a way out? There's rifles over here. Can I take them? Oh, I can, actually. I didn't know that I could do that. That is very cool that you can actually shoot rifles. Oh, <laughs> did you see how he dropped it? <laughs> the strangest way to drop a weapon. Okay, that actually looks a little better, but still, it looks like the thing's made out of balsa wood. Drop it. Drop it. Dive in the water. Speaking as a Catholic, I've never recited the entirety of the Hail Mary at anyone. <laughs> Area not available. You're a butt in three quarters. Don't give me that garbage. I found a way out fair and square. And you're gonna say area not available. I have the season pass and I have the gold edition. That is straight up butts. See how far you can swim, never mind. Yeah, that was faster than freaking Jack and Daxter, wasn't it? <laughs> Should run a competition to see who can watch dogs the longest. Be a weird competition. I mean, yeah, I guess I, I don't know. I feel like I'd mentally scar someone for doing that. All right, so here's that pyramid that was in the air that I found a while ago. I guess this means that I've run a lap around the entire city by now, and I didn't figure out how to get up there. It's like the closest thing we're gonna get to a puzzle, right? So I might as well embrace it. I'm um, pretty sure I'm just supposed to go along here, and then I can go to this top of this edge over here. And then I can go over here, potentially, and then, oh, climb up the death cage. And then I should just be able to leap off of this and get the pyramid. Yeah! 
That'd be awful if you just freaking swan dove right on top of that log. That is a real spine crushing potential there. Oh, an anchor. That'd be sweet if you could drag it around. To put it, attach it to a ship or something, like sink the ship. Did that happen actually? If you put an anchor to a ship and you put it uh, with too short of a rope, would it just drag the ship down? It's probably too buoyant for that, right? Can I steal boats? Maybe a boat theft auto? Boat Theft Auto makes me think of Horse Theft Auto, and that makes me still wish that they made Red Dead Redemption for PC. That game is so good! There was a point, I was, uh, I think I was still in college when that came out, and it was, uh, like, the only thing I could think about for a while. Like, I would be in school, I would be going to classes, and I would just be, like, completely just daydreaming about playing more Red Dead when I got home. It's a, it's a weird feeling. I haven't had that from a game too much uh, since that game, actually, I think. Uh, before that, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion did that to me. Uh, even World of Warcraft before that. I guess it's just, like, big open-world games often engender that sense of wonder and curiosity that makes you wonder, like, what are the potential limits of this world that they've created. Yeah, I mean, Super Metroid definitely a little bit as well. Although, I think when I was that little, when I was still playing it for the first time, it was like one of the first games of that style, so basically everything felt a little like that. Uh, is there a save to this, or do I just quit? I don't think I've really checked out. Probably auto saves, right? I know it had a sinking, like, cloud storage thing going on. Uh, press A to exit the Animus, or to quit to the main menu. You just quit. Oh, thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna quit. Uh, any unsaved progress will be lost. See, that's the thing that I was wondering about. I do it with my- oh yeah, Minecraft actually did it a little bit as well with that. Does this- is this the way I want to do this? Bet I can beat you in a race. Uh, you can't save yourself. Okay, well, fair enough. You can't save yourself! I want a Skyrim game that has an interesting world. What was not interesting about it? Content unlocked. Oh, they just now gave me the season pass. I put that in before I started the game, and it's like, alright, well you're done with it, now we're gonna give you the season pass. Not like there's anything out already, is there? I don't- that would be a little ridiculous if there was DLC available for this game and it only just came out. Probably totally is. Oh, well, it doesn't open anything if you click on that. Exit to Windows.